Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control again. And today I want to go over glue boards, uh, glue traps, uh, sticky paper, you know, whatever you want to call them, um, and why you really should not be using them to catch mice and rats and, and things like that in your home. Uh, I know that this is, uh, a lot of people use them. A lot of exterminators use them for pest control. It's not really a pest control device. It's more of a monitoring device. You know, if you have a problem where you're getting, uh, uh, you know, roaches or ants or something like that in your home and you're trying to get rid of them, you, you really shouldn't use glue boards as a device to control these things because uh, they're really not very effective. You're only going to catch what walks on them. You're not going to catch anything that doesn't. And uh, now I will admit at the end of this video, I'm going to do a little clip. It's a little short clip, maybe like 40 seconds long. Doesn't last very long at all. Uh, mainly going over. Uh, it's, it's actually, I caught a mouse. I didn't catch a mouse. A customer caught the mouse on a glue trap. And I want to show you how bad it is, how bad it can be, and why you don't want to use them. So stay tuned to the end if you don't. I'm just going to put it on the end so those that, you know, don't like gruesome things or cannot handle, you know, seeing a mouse dead on a glue board, uh, you don't have to see it. This one's not dead. It's alive. I had to actually kill it myself because he was uh, really suffering pretty badly on this glue board. So uh, the problem with glue boards and catching mice mice will chew their paws off uh they will um start giving birth they will uh you know they and they suffocate to death or they'll die there of hunger or or, or just no water or anything like that it's a, a pretty miserable way to to kill an animal um you know if you were to think about it, it do you really want to die from starvation or uh lack of water uh, dehydration de is that the way that you would want to to uh, perish and you have to realize this mouse doesn't really even know what has happened to it it crawls up on the glue board and all of a sudden he's stuck there doesn't know what's wrong gets his face stuck down on it uh, starts to chew to get his way off and it's like the guy I don't know if very many of you remember the story of the man that was uh, out mountain uh, hiking in the mountains and the boulder fell on his arm and he ended up sawing his arm off with his own pocket knife this is exactly what happens to mice when they get stuck on a glue board they go into an immediate survival mode and they try to chew their legs off and their feet off and stuff in order to get off the glue board it's very very gruesome and I just don't advise it ever there are people that question whether or not bait is a uh, effective way or a, a humane way to get rid of mice and in all of my uh, years being an exterminator i find that it is the most effective and i feel that it's the most humane way to get rid of mice what happens when them now not with every poison every mouse poison is the same they're not all created equal but with the rat poison that i use and if you want to know you can go over to my mouse monday series i do have a mouse monday series that uh, i've got on my channel i did like maybe four or five videos there about mouse control and i think it's like video number two or three where i actually show the the bait that i used and, and the effective poison i use the way it works is it will dry up the mouse internally so that when he finally does die there's no liquid left so you don't get an odor but they also get kind of sick like you know they get us like like you do when you get the flu or something and you get sick and you go to home and you go to bed you may not work that day you may take a couple days off work and just take it easy in bed so what the mouse does is they'll get sick from the poison and they'll go home wherever that is whether it's in the ground or wherever and they will uh, fall asleep and then they die and so typically they die in their sleep uh i personally i think that's way more humane than uh dying with your face you know shoved up on a glue board like that that's pretty 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 bad so uh anyway this isn't a real long video just a short video about glue boards and why you don't really want to use them and why i think that most pest control technicians should just stray, stray away from them and stop using them especially for mouse control this is what happens when people use glue boards to trap mice it's uh i know it's a little graphic it's pretty sad because he's still alive but you see how he's chewing has been chewing his arm 
right there and of course the glue pulls all of his skin and fur and everything off uh, they're very um, really they're they're in my opinion they're very inhumane uh, he's still alive see he's still alive and pretty miserable so hopefully this is uh taught you a few things about mouse control.